So now that you have your layout all set up, ready to go, with your squares sitting on top of your magazine cover in the places where your photographs are going to go, we're now going to start adding your photographs. So I'm going to start by adding my main story, and I'm going to take uh, my kale guy here. I'm going to bring him into my untitled or my tabloid document. And I'm going, to, I'm going to want him to be my main story. So I'm going to take him and resize him proportionally by pressing shift. And I'm going to move him on top of my rectangle one, which is my main story. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard so you get that icon and click between the two layers, it will automatically clip to it. Actually, for this image, I'm going to do Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal so that we can um, see him a little bit better on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to add our next image. And let's add these pumpkins right here. So I'm going to take my image, bring it into my document. I'm going to resize it so it fits on top of the yellow box. Pumpkin. I'm going to alt click between the two layers and notice that it clips them together. Notice it does crop some of it out, which is totally fine. It's just the nature of the way that magazines are. And then I'm going to add my last image which is going to be my favorite type of coffee. So I'm going to take my coffee cup that I took a picture of. I'm going to resize it, put it over top of my pink box. Type it coffee. And one last time, alt click between the two layers. And there you have your images into your magazine the exact way you want them to be. And from here I would go ahead and start adding in my OK up here using any fonts um, and then adding in any of my headlines in yellow left justified um, to finish off my magazine cover. Uh, that's it. Good luck.